Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about functions in C++. Now, in case you don't know what a function is, a function allows us to repeat massive amounts of code in several locations in our main program. So let's say you have like 100 lines and you need to have that same set of 100 lines of code in each location of your program. Well, rather than copy pasting hundreds of lines over and over again, or even worse, writing them, you can put those 100 lines in a function and then just call the function by its name. So you, that way you can save a ton of space. So if you have watched my Python video, then you'd know the way we would make a function in Python would be def followed by the name and then a pair of brackets and then a colon and then followed by whatever we want to put. In C++, it's sort of the same. So if you want to make a function in C++, rather than using the keyword DEF, we would use the data type that we want the function to be. Yes, even functions have data types. How do we decide what data type to use? Well, uh, we just need to see what the function is supposed to do. Let's say it's supposed to give a number in the end, like return an integer. If we wanted to do that, then we have to specify it as int. So let's put int and let's make an add. So int add round brackets and then a pair of curly brackets. And inside we just use the uh, good old return key and then followed by whatever we want to return. Let's just return the number five. So this data type, it's very important because it will decide what the function is supposed to return, the data type of that value. If I were to put say string, then you see that the return function gives an error because it says, in this case, it's saying no viable conversion from return value of type int to function return type string which is why it's very important to make sure that the value re you return at the end matches that of the function data type. So how do we call this function? Well, the same way as we do in Python, the function name followed by a pair of brackets. The only difference is that we add the semicolon at the end because this is its own separate line and we have to mention that in C++. If we run this, well, no output. Why is that? It's returning a value. It doesn't actually print it. So if you want to actually see what it returns, we have to put it in a statement that prints it. In this case, C out. So C out of add and line. Now if we run it, you see that? We got the output five because, well, it returns five and we print it. Now let's say we want to return a string. Well, we just change the data type to string and now we can just return whatever string we want to return. If I do that and run the program, you see that? I returned the string hello and then when I printed it in the main program, we have hello. Now the key I among you may have noticed that the function that we just made matches very similarly to the structure of the main uh, program, the int main. Why is that? Well, that's because this is a method. Basically, C++ will have one function called the main function. That is where you put all your code, which the compiler reads, and actually, like, if there's any output to be kept, it will actually take that output and put it in the console. This is the function that does that. This is also why you cannot have like uh, another function named main because this function will also be there and it will start complaining. This is also why you sometimes see uh, this thing written, return zero in the main function when you make a new program. That is because the main function is of type int and usually you'd want it to return something. 
it's not required for the main function it's required for everything else it's not required for the main function but they just put it it's like it's just a stamp it now what if we don't want to return something in a function let's say we just want to uh, print something like say i don't know just just put the string five i don't know let's say we want to do this well if we tried running it as is and of course getting rid of the cout statement in the main program well it does print it but uh, <laughs> well it keeps doing this it keeps looping why is that well the function expects a return statement that's how it knows it should stop but because there is no return statement well it'll just do it forever and ever which is why it just kept on printing the number five so what if we want to have this statement while also not having the return statement well there is a keyword for that instead of putting some data type here before the function name we put void void will tell c++ that this function is not going to return any value and it's just going to do well anything else so now if we run it you see that the function uh, does nothing but print five. So when we run that function in the main program, we get five. Now, what happens if we try printing this function anyway? So this function is already printing something. What happens if we try printing the function itself? Well, it gives a complete list of errors saying that it doesn't know how to print this function which makes sense it's a function not it's not really anything that you could print unless it returns a value now what if we want to specify like input to the function well if we want to add input to the method the way we would do that is by specifying not only the data type but also the name so like if you want to put a and b that's not the only thing we need we also need to specify the data types so int a int b and in the main function well when we call it we just put in the values let's put five and five i don't know i'm not that imaginative and let's make this function return something so we can return a into b Oh, sorry, a plus b. This is an add function. Now, you may notice this return is giving us an error. That is because this is a void function. So, if I change that, now it's int. Yeah. And now I need to add a c out here. If we run this now, we get the output of 10, which is what 5 plus 5 equals. So, this is how we make and use functions in C++. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.